Success Radio USA's Profiles of Success is brought to you in part by the 365 Grand Club, Colorado Springs' only elite urban downtown club. Don't like having to park downtown? Don't like paying full price for great dining? Hate working out in crowded gyms? Use your 365 Grand Club card and forget all of that. Enjoy the benefits of downtown with ease and prestige. Get your club card today by visiting www365 365grandclub.com That's 365grandclub.com Go there today and join the club The 365 Grand Club And now let's join your hosts of Profiles of Success Chuck Bader and Jerry Evans Welcome to Profiles of Success. I'm your host, Chuck Bader. And I'm Jerry Evans. Always a pleasure to be here once again for this great, <laughs> wonderful, fantastic internet radio program. It is. We call Profiles of Success, and we thank you for joining us here. You can find us by going to our Facebook page at Success Radio USA or by going to our website at successradio.us. We would like to invite you to register with us there for free, and you will get a free ebook download as our gift to you. Now that you are one of those who take success seriously, you can subscribe to Success Radio USA for only a few dollars a month, which is how much? $3.99 per month. It's amazing to me. Now, how do we do that? How do we do that? Okay. You can have total access to our show archives on demand and our success library of ebooks, which are also free to our members. Absolutely. And it's a good place to be. And, and that's what we're going to talk today about the power of consistency and, and uh, making sure that this is not just a hobby, which it is for a lot of people. But, you know, if you really want to make the transition, you really want to change your outcome, change your legacy, change your family tree, as Dave Ramsey talks about, it's got to be a consistent effort. And one way to be consistent is becoming part of our network. So go to our, our website, successradio.us, and make sure you sign up for that. Three ninety nine dollars is a small investment to be able to have access to these uh, recordings whenever you're ready to hear them. I absolutely agree. And, uh, you know, hopefully you can find little tidbits of, uh, of information oh, yeah. that can help you in your journey to uh, wealth and freedom. And, and everything like that, or uh, just, you know, everyday living. I mean, a lot of times that, that's sometimes a key to, to being happy about what's going on in your life. And that truly, to, for me, if, if you're happy about what's happening in your life, that is truly a profile of success to me. Well, it really is. There's an interesting study I heard years ago, I mean, like 20 years ago, and uh, I just saw a news clip of it, and then I researched to find out that there is validation to it. But one of the most important things that people need to understand about changing their current circumstances and changing their quality of life is understanding a sequence. And the misunderstood sequence is people think, well, success precedes happiness. And what they found through this study is that it's actually the opposite. Happiness precedes success. So in order to be successful, you've got to be happy first. And the great thing is, is that while it may take quite some time to earn the income you want to or have the house or the car you want to, uh, happiness is instant. Happiness is really a matter of gratitude. So what you got to do uh, initially is to be happy every single day, no matter what your circumstances are, you can always choose to be happy. And that's the important first step, because as we get more into the complexities of it, when you talk about law of attraction, which in my mind is not metaphysical, it's not the universe conversation, uh, it's a real, it's a real neuro, um, Neuro, neuro <laughs> plasticity, plasticity, isn't it? That's so beautiful, plasticity, but more of a neuro based uh, concept in what's called micro expressions and things like that. So basically, if you're not a happy person, people who are going to be successful may not want to be around you. <laughs> so, but if you're a happy person, people are going to be drawn to you. I, I can sum it up in four <laughs> words. Are you ready? I well, I guess. Don't worry, be happy. Well, there you go. Right, there, there you go. That was actually the number one that. song that year too. Is that right? <laughs> yes, it was. It so, makes sense. That's what's amazing. They, they had won a Grammy and everything. <laughs> that makes so, sense. But yeah, it, uh, if you really view it that way, a lot of times you can be uh, successful just uh, born out of the happiness that you're uh, achieving on an everyday basis. And uh, and if you're really happy in what you're doing, you know, whether that be leisure or work or whatever the case might be. Um, you know, it's it's one of those situations where you can say, you know, I, re- I feel really good about things right now. Right. And um, then all of a sudden that starts to breed that confidence and the consistency. And then you are led down that path to uh, what you might consider wealth. Now, wealth could be monetary or mm-hmm. it could be just, you know, being happy with, uh, uh, you know, people that you're surrounded by, whether it's family or friends. So a lot of times it doesn't have to be just measured in confidence. 
compensation wealth-wise. It can be measured in how you feel about things that are affecting your life. With And like I said, that could be family or friends or, or just the environment that you're in. So I oh, think yeah. that's really important. Yeah, and, and really that's, that's the first step is that what's the ultimate goal of life anyway? Why do you want to earn the million dollars and have the big cars or whatever? Because you think it's going to make you happy. Uh, so let's go back and, and dispel that myth again. Number one, anybody can choose to be happy, and it is yeah, a choice. It really is. <laughs> you know, it's all about how you think about things. And then yeah. when you become happy, then you're going to be attracting more people to you to acquire the income you want to achieve. But on the other hand, let's see people who get caught up in the trap. And our producer, Tim, was talking about this months ago, was that he's known at least one person that he shared with me who had the wealth, who had the success, who had the money, who was not happy and had a pretty, pretty bad outcome because of it. So <laughs> that's the thing about it. You know, everyone keeps thinking, well, you know, more money will solve problems, which, you know, if you do it right, it will. If you don't do it right, it'll create more problems. Um, but it's not acquiring the material goods. Really, it comes down to two things. Number one, you want to pursue happiness every day. And that's why I love the title of the movie about Chris Gardner, The Pursuit of Happiness. That's right. why I thought that uh, Jefferson, as he pointed out in the movie, nailed it, is that we pursue happiness because it's not a tangible, physical thing. Happiness is a moment-to-moment feeling. And the feeling is either derived by things externally, which doesn't happen that often, or it can be um, generated by internal things, which you can do every single time. And so I got this new saying, right? A lot of people say, have a great day, make a great day, blah, blah, blah. And I got this new thing, right? So you guys can write this down. You've heard it here first on Profiles of Success. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> make your day great by being grateful all day. Ho! Oh, my sounds goodness. Sounds like something wow. people would have said, right? All right. Sounds like something people would have said. He's going to patent that one. But the thing is... <laughs> <laughs> yes, is that that's what it's all about. I mean, everybody you talk to when they start the day off, whether it's Tony Robbins, Dean Graziosi, Brian Tracy, whoever, uh, one of the important elements, the first hour of your day, the first hour of your day is going to set the rest of your day is they start off with some big part of that being gratitude. Okay. Gratitude. You can be grateful for saying you can be grateful for anything. I mean, oh my gosh, Tony Robbins tells this great story about uh, one of his friends, I believe it was John Coffey, Vietnam uh, POW, and uh, whereas a lot of his counterparts were really going and suffering and and being sucked in by all this. Uh, John Coffey, I think is what his name was, and you'll love this, he practiced golf in his mind every single day. And he realized that his current circumstances did not limit his future potential, uh, so he chose to understand the reality of the situation, but he chose to find gratitude whenever he could. He chose to look toward the future, which Viktor Frankl talks about in his book, Man's Search for Meaning. You've got to look for something beyond where you're at currently right now. And Coffey did that, and he came out incredibly <laughs> resound and did very successful after he was released from the PMW. W camps. I wonder if that's true of, uh, with other uh, POWs or uh, or other people that have been in very uh, you know extremely difficult dis, uh, situations. Uh, you know, a lot of times uh, that builds their strength, their character, and their wherewithal to go back out and, and say, you know what, I'm not going to let this uh, rule my life. Uh, this is something that I'm going to get in there and I'm going to go in and I'm going to say I'm going to do this because, boy, I tell you, when you when you have to deal with difficult circumstances, a lot of times it can make you stronger. Oh, yeah. And um, I believe that that maybe is what happened with Mr. Coffee. you know, to, to, to be able to, to to pursue that afterwards and not let it, you know, s- make him sink all the way down into the lower level. Exactly. And it's a matter, and, and this takes a lot of maturity and a lot of understanding, and I am by no means trying to put somebody down who doesn't choose that because it's tough when you're in difficult situations, right. whether yeah. it's a POW camp, sexual abuse, physical abuse. It's tough in those situations to try to overcome those, but two things that are going to help you out in that is that you realize that, that there's one of two things happening, and then we'll share a Tony Robbins example, is that there's the, there's the involuntary default reaction to either react to what's happening. Okay, I'm being abused, I'm in a POW camp, whatever, and you know these are all the horrible circumstances, and here's the negativity, and I'm choosing to think about the negativity, which is not a bad thing. It's a very natural thing, because the brain is trying to, to keep you alive. But on the other hand, realize like Viktor Frankl did in the POW camps, um, in the concentration camps, is that you can also choose to be proactive. It is your choice to be proactive. And so Viktor Frankl talked about being proactive. John Coffey talked about being proactive. Danny Johnson, all these people in these horrible situations 
situations, and I mean really horrible, life-threatening situations, realize that they had a choice. And here's a cool part, too. So Stephen Covey, author of The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People and The Eighth Habit, launched his entire career, so to speak, off of one line from Viktor Frankl's book, which he didn't know it came from Frankl at the time. But uh, Covey's in a sabbatical in Hawaii, pulls out this book off the shelf, and he reads this one line that changed his entire life. He said, between stimulus and response, there is a space. Within that space lies our freedom and power to choose. Within our choices lie our freedom and happiness. And what he's talking about by choosing is being proactive, not reactive. And that that little sentence just like, boo, turn a big light bulb on for Stephen Covey. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he, he builds this whole thing about being habits and successful. But the, the, the bottom line thing is, before we cut away to the break here, is that realize 97 out of 100 people, it seems like statistically only about 3% of people are able to be proactive. 97 are going to be reactive. They're going to justify it. They're going to let the environment and the circumstances make their identity when they, they need to realize that they've always got the choice. We always, as human beings, the only creature on the planet that has this, as human beings, always have the ability to choose how we want to think and how we want to respond to something. And now we're down to one minute. Uh, so the Tony Robbins thing, before we go to it, Tony Robbins, we said this before, age 17, December 24th, his mother and he have a big knockdown drag out argument. Mm-hmm. She kicks him out. And the first thing he said that came to his mind is he went to a Jim Rohn seminar uh, before that. And he said that uh, Jim Rohn had said, it's not what happens to you that determines the quality of life. It's what you do with what happens to you that determines the quality of your life. So again, proactive, another example of that. And that just sort of shaped his future. <laughs> oh, just like it did for Stephen Covey. I mean, understanding that we have power in choice is, is what it's all about. So speaking about choice, I hope you choose to get yourself a pen. I hope you choose to get yourself a piece of paper. And I hope you choose not to tune out for the next three minutes while you're a sponsors because you need to write down their names and you need to write down their phone numbers. You need to write down their websites. And all of a sudden, your computer's not going to work right. You're going to be in a legal situation or whatever our sponsors do. You're going to need to know who to call. And if you have this on your fridge, it's going to make that phone call so much easier. This is Profiles of Success, and we'll be right back is always looking for ways to help you succeed. Whether it's offering a word of encouragement or sharing practical information that can give you the competitive edge. So you'll want to pay close attention to this. Our new sponsor, the 365 Grand Club, can give you the edge when conducting business in downtown Colorado Springs. You might want to entertain a potential client or just show appreciation to a loyal business partner. Either way, your new 365 Grand Club card is your passport to downtown Colorado Springs. Your club card gives you access to discounts, business perks, making new business connections, and the convenient private concierge service that makes getting around town hassle-free. Enjoy the benefits of downtown with ease and prestige. Get your club card today by visiting www.365grandclub.com. That's 365grandclub.com. Get yours this week and join the club, the 365 Grand Club. It gives clarity to problem solving. It increases production and focus on the job. It alleviates sleepless and restless nights and fends off stress and tension headaches. No, it's not the latest energy drink or health supplement. It's Legal Shield. Get peace of mind every day, every night, now and forever. Legal Shield. Get it. To find out more about Legal Shield and how it can protect your family and your business, call Andrea at area code 719-243-3174. That's area code 719-243-3174. Legal Shield. Listening to Success Radio USA at successradio.us. Success Radio USA is committed to helping you achieve a positive daily approach to your success each and every day. Thank you for listening. listening to 
Profiles of Success with your host, Chuck Bader, and we were so glad that you're here. And I'm Jerry Evans. Yes, indeed. And thank you for joining us here on Profiles of Success. You can find us by going to our Facebook page at Success Radio USA or by going to our website at successradio.us. And we'd like to invite you to register with us there for free, and you will get a free ebook download as our gift to you. That's exactly right. So now that you're one of those great people who take success seriously, you can subscribe to Success Radio USA for only a few dollars a month and have total access to our show's archives on demand and our success library of ebooks, which are also free to our members. And remember, it's only three ninety nine to subscribe under a buck a week. And you keep throwing the word "free" around like it's free. I mean, you said well, three times a, in your promo thing. It's there. a great four letter word, free. <laughs> I love that. I love that uh, free stuff, you know. Good for back, we, word, yes. back in the day when I used to work in radio full time, uh, we had an old saying, and that uh, was quite simply, if it's free, it's for me. Exactly, yes. So <laughs> that, that sums it up right there, you know. And yeah. talk about being happy. That, that's what made us happy. You know? Oh, yeah. Some of the stuff that we got to do. Um, so it was it was really cool. But Well, let's talk about more free work, free resources, which I call free sources, uh, which was not the thing back in my day, right, 20-something years ago. You did not get this stuff for well, free. Not as old as me. Not, that was not back quite. Thirty yeah. years ago for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's got another decade. I can catch up with you on. Yeah, <laughs> but but twenty years ago when it was on cassette tape. <laughs> Four CDs, I loved cassettes. Right? I loved cassettes. I don't oh, know. I Maybe them. I'm strange, but I loved them. <laughs> I hated CDs. I love the fact that it's all digital now. It's like, man, there's nothing well, to carry around. Yeah, that's all really good, too. But, you know, there's something Find about it. having the cassette. It was like, that's wow, true. I've got cassettes with me. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but they were not free back then. I mean, programs no, back they were. then, you know, uh, geez, anywhere from 40 bucks to maybe a couple thousand dollars. Yeah. You know, but the great thing they want to point out now, too, and, and yes, we're giving away the show here. This is not a profit making center for us. This is a public service, is that there are so many free sources. One of the single absolutely best free resources you need to plug into that everybody's doing is YouTube. YouTube. I knew you were going to say YouTube. Yes, and there you got Zig Ziglar, Tony Robbins, all this stuff, and the the best of what they give is free on YouTube, so do it, right? Every morning when I shower, <laughs> we talked about this last time, I shower with Tony Robbins or Zig Ziglar, Brian Tracy, whatever. And that's Brooklyn. a scary thought, folks, let me tell you. <laughs> In my mind. But right? thankfully he does shower. So that's, that's a good start, yes. <laughs> But I mean, that's that's the easiest time to do that. As I play that in the background, well, you got twenty minutes while you're showering. And it's like, boom! There's some good education right there. You well, know? yeah, you're right. And you know, all joking aside, when when you think about a lot of the stuff uh, that goes on. You watch TV, you listen to the radio, or whatever the case might be, and a lot of times when you hear all that stuff and see all that stuff, you're going, why am I wasting my time exactly. with this? I could be out doing something productive or, you know, monitoring or get, getting, you know, like books that, that talk about, you know, what path I need to take and whatnot, so I... Sometimes I sit back and I wonder, you know, why am I watching TV? Right. Because there's really no need for me to be doing that. Exactly. And I would like to be able to go out and do something a little more resourceful. Uh, sometimes I guess I just get falling into a pattern or a habit and whatnot, oh, yeah. Yeah. and it, it doesn't it doesn't bode well. So a lot of times you have to just kind of pick yourself up and say, all right, here's the path I'm going to go down. This is where I'm going to what I'm going to do to achieve the happiness that I'm really after. Mm-hmm. And I'm not just talking about wealth. I'm talking about right. happiness. And within the framework of you as a person. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times that, that happens by getting up off the couch, not watching TV, not listening to the radio, not reading the newspaper, whatever the case might be. Right. Go out and just pursue it. Yeah. And find out that, you know, there are good people out there. You can mm-hmm. go out and associate with them. You can go out and enjoy the just the fruits of, of our environment, uh, whether that maybe is a hike. Uh, I, I don't know. There's just several things that you can go out and do and don't get disillusioned by it go out and enjoy it yeah and go in with that positive framework so that you really are coming back as a different person exactly and that's what you want to do yes i mean you had no choice really uh the way you're raised and that's where your programming comes in in the formative years tim talked about neuroplasticity you know how the brain is wired it was all external feedback because as a child you have no idea you know you you're just put in this environment and people who are bigger than you and older than you and allegedly smarter than you 
you are telling you these things which you assume to be true about yourself and it creates your identity and so by the time you're 21 you're thinking this is who I am uh, but as we talked about too the foundation of this stuff and like I said I've been studying Ziegler and Robbins all that for 20 years and for 20 years I was kind of in doubt about that it's like okay so these guys came from worse circumstances than I did and all of a sudden they're on the top but maybe they did get that lucky break even though they said they didn't blah 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 uh, but it wasn't until I learned about one concept one concept that changed my attitude about the belief of my potential and that word was neuroplasticity and when we talk about neuroplasticity the, the easiest way to explain that is people um, don't understand that they can literally change their brain the way they can change their body you know you could be the quote unquote 98 pound weakling but if you do the push ups every day and you work out every day at some point in time you're going to see a change in the body because the physical muscle structure changes the exact same thing happens in the brain if you think is the brain is like to make it very very simple like a google map right you want to get from point a to point b you've got the certain process you're going to take well if you have been in a negative environment and there are parts of the brain that are wired very strongly with the amygdala and it puts the any kind of stimulus that someone says to you or, or puts in your way if it's going to automatically put it into a negative part of the brain you're not going to progress but you have to understand that you can change that and that's probably the most empowering part of this entire show is to realize that like Frankel did and Robbins did you have the option to change you have the freedom to change by making the freedom to choose what you think about and so what you have to literally have to redo is this is why they talk about you wake up and you have the gratitude you have the visualizations you get excited about things you you do positive mirror talk in the mirror you talk to yourself in the mirror that's how you actually repra- uh, reprogram your brain to go from being what may have been a negative person to a positive person and the interesting thing that makes this work is that the subconscious does not know the difference between reality and not reality and the greatest example is uh, a horror movie right versus a, a comedy so if you go into a horror movie you're if you were monitored which they've done this in several reports but when people are watching horror movies the heart rate elevates the the adrenaline levels go up everything happens to you just like if you're in the exact same real situation so if you realize that the subconscious does not know reality from not reality and if you realize that you have a choice to be able to talk to yourself differently if nobody else is going to and you wake up in the morning being grateful you wake up in the morning to hearing something positive on YouTube and then as you're brushing your teeth or showering you look yourself in the mirror and you start doing the positive affirmations looking yourself in the eye in the mirror pretty soon the subconscious is going to believe that and it's going to change the circuitry in your brain to be able to respond not to react positively versus negatively that's a lot to throw at you but basically that's the nutshell man can you repeat all that <laughs> so that's the core the, concepts <laughs> yeah really no well I think you're exactly right about all that uh, uh, and, and a lot of times, uh, if you can decrease the negativity oh, yeah. and increase the positivity, then uh, you're going to be down, going down that right path. And, and I really, um, th- that's always been kind of a struggle for a lot of people. Oh, yeah. And I would say that that's been a struggle for myself Me as too. well. Prior to the uh, you know, and uh, when you look at it, you say, well, I don't know if I really want to do that. I'm not sure I want to go down that path. Hmm. And I've had to actually almost force myself in some circumstances oh, yeah. to go down that path where I am pursuing something that I really want to do. I just felt uncomfortable. Yes. Getting out of your comfort zone is sometimes not all that easy, but once you do it and then you accomplish what you are setting your goal after, uh, it's a great feeling. It's something that you really can take and say, all right, you know what? I did this and I am at a level now where I feel a lot more, uh, I guess, a lot better about myself as a person, um, maybe as an employee, maybe as, you know, just somebody who's a, a student or somebody, a teacher, whatnot. Right. Anything along that line, you can find yourself to be uh, a lot more productive oh, yeah. and, and feel like you've done some accomplishments. And, and one of the things, you know, we've talked about this uh, uh, on previous programs about uh, my teaching people uh, because right. you know at work I'm an, an on the job instructor and one of the things that, that comes out of that is th- that feeling of accomplishment when you see somebody go oh, yeah. from ground zero <clears throat> to being able to perform at an excellent level or at least at least a good level then you sit back and you take pride in that because you know that you had that impact on them and they're trying to achieve a goal and they were getting out of their comfort zone and 
but they stuck with it and they were able to get to that point where they felt like wow you know what I accomplished this I'm productive I'm doing well and gee that's that's a great feeling. Oftentimes, they don't even realize, you know, what a great feeling it is for the person that helped them get to that oh, yeah. point. <laughs> and I, I I take a lot of pride in that because of the fact that when you see that, you know that you you were doing what you were supposed to be doing. And oftentimes, you know, throughout my life, I've been able to teach people how to do things. And they go on and have greater success than I ever had. Exactly. (laughs) So that's a sign of a good teacher, I guess. Oh, yeah. You know, when you think about it. so No, that's really what it's all about. And you're going to the next level. So, you know, initially we're talking about happiness, which is step one. But the bigger step is a life of fulfillment. That's step two. And so what you talked about is that happiness is something you can create within yourself. But one thing you cannot create within yourself is a life of fulfillment. Because the only way you feel, feel fulfilled is by serving other people. That's what you're doing when you're teaching these people on the job stuff. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. You're serving those. Absolutely. Because uh, well, once you see what, what happens to them, then you know that there is a certain fulfillment there because of the fact that you knew you had a hand in it. Exactly. So so now the big mystery question is, and I only have one answer for it, which I think makes sense to me, which is a whole different conversation. But the thing is, is that uh, logically it would make sense that giving your time and your expertise and your help to somebody else should not make you feel fulfilled. It should not make you feel happy because you can have these things for yourself. You can have your time back for yourself to do whatever you want to. So why do we get such an amazing feeling when we help a child learn how to tie their shoes? We help a postal worker learn how to run a machine. We teach somebody, we serve somebody, and all of a sudden they have a different level of happiness. My only explanation for that is that Jesus Christ himself had set that example. And you go back to the Bible, it says, I did not come here to be served, I came here to serve. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's got to be the foundation. That's the only reason why, no matter whether you are religious or not, no matter what your culture is, everybody feels the exact same sense of fulfillment when you're serving other people. So I think we need to really get in touch with that. But what we need to get in touch with right now, and I hate these breaks, doggone it, we need to do this without sponsors someday. So no, 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 no. you got to have the sponsors. You know the routine. Pen, paper, name, address, phone number. You call them when you need them. We're going to be right back on Profiles of Success. Success Radio USA is always looking for ways to help you succeed. Whether it's offering a word of encouragement or sharing practical information that can give you the competitive edge. So you'll want to pay close attention to this. Our new sponsor, the 365 Grand Club, can give you the edge when conducting business in downtown Colorado Springs. You might want to entertain a potential client or just show appreciation to a loyal business partner. Either way, your new 365 Grand Club card is your passport to downtown Colorado Springs. Springs. Your club card gives you access to discounts, business perks, making new business connections, and the convenient private concierge service that makes getting around town hassle-free. Enjoy the benefits of downtown with ease and prestige. Get your club card today by visiting www.365grandclub.com. That's 365grandclub.com. Get yours this week and join the club, the 365 Grand Club. This week, my name is Harley Mitchell. Next week, I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll use your name. You see, I'm a cyber criminal. And I steal information that defines who you are. Things like your driver's license number, your birth date, your home address, your office address, your social security number, your medical information, insurance cards, business licenses, and if I can get it, your birth certificate. If I can get one, I can get the rest. It's not personal. It's just business. Once I have your information, I bundle it with others and I sell it. Not just once, but over and over and over and over and over. Due to recent massive data breaches, your personal information is now available for cyber criminals like Harley to buy and sell to their underworld counterparts for profit. Bad people with bad intentions hiding behind your identity. Don't be fooled and lock down your financial life. Use the professionals that Fortune 500 companies use, ID Shield and Legal Shield. It costs less and reaches further. Don't lock down your life. Call Andrea Wacker and get the right protection for the right problem. Andrea Wacker is your lady of justice. Call now at 719-243-3174. That's 719-243-3174. Listen 
listening to Success Radio USA at successradio.us. Success Radio USA is your source for inspirational, motivational, informative, and life-changing daily content. Thank you for listening. Profiles of Success. I'm I am? Chuck Bader. Yes, you are. Okay. I didn't know I was. Okay. Yes. I thought I was part of it. Well, we have to remind you that stuff sometimes. So. Anyway, uh, of course, he's Chuck Bader. I'm Jerry Evans. And we want to thank you once again for joining us here on Profiles of Success. Uh, as obviously, we are excited, always having a lot of fun here doing the radio program. You can find us by going to our Facebook page at Success Radio USA or by going to our website at successradio.us. We'd like to invite you to register with us there for free. free. That's right, for free, free, ladies and gentlemen. Free, free, free. free, free. Okay, <laughs> four letter word free. And you will get a free ebook download free. as our gift to you. So now that you're one of those who take success seriously, you can subscribe to Success Radio USA for only a few dollars a month. Three ninety nine per month under a buck a week. And have total access to our show's archives on demand and our success library of ebooks, which are also free to our members. So get those and get them quickly so that you can enjoy all the fruits of your labor as far as uh, getting to that moment of happiness. And that's a key factor. I mean, if you're sitting there now and you're not taking action on that, it goes back to the story Ziegler did. A lady came to Ziegler 10 minutes before his show, and she's just having a hard time, and so he's willing to give her advice, and he's talking to her. She's not writing it down, and basically, just to kind of cut to the chase, he said, basically, if you're not going to write it down, I'm not going to keep talking, because if you don't write it down, you're not going to take action. So exactly right. If you're not going to register at successradio.us at four bucks a month, if you need the four bucks, call me. I'll give you the four bucks, all right? If you're in that position, that's be, I'll, I'll be glad to find that for you. Um, wow, look at the phones lighting up. Well, <laughs> it's, there's a, you do have to prove a lack of income. <laughs> so Once you meet my criteria, I'll give you the four bucks. <laughs> or maybe we'll give away a free one. I'll tell you what. The first five people to register, I'll give it free for three months. Boom, there we okay. go. Wow. More free. I'll pay for your subscription for three months. The first five people to register, you got this down. Okay, wow. But You're it's amazing. important though. You got you to take this stuff seriously. And again, this is what we talked about before. You feel good when you teach somebody how to do a, a job or a skill. Makes you feel great. We feel great doing this because we're actually paying to do this show uh, because we're serving people. I mean, it's it's a way to empower and enlighten people. And the one thing you talked about before is why am I watching TV? Why am I doing this? And why am I not doing other things? Step number one is awareness. And so many people are not aware of these options, of these truths, of these realities out there. And thank God that uh, Zig Ziglar made me aware of it 20 years ago. I had no idea what this stuff was. My dad never talked about this. Well, at one point, Zig Ziglar didn't, wasn't aware of all this stuff either. You know, he was not, able to discover it. Tony Robbins was able to discover it. Yep. You know, all the big uh, names, you might say, Dave, Dave Ramsey. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, all these people have discovered that that's what uh, is what motivates them and kept them going all along throughout the whole situation. And, and you know, and of course, Zig Ziglar, his family is carrying on that, oh, yeah. that legacy that, that he had established. So it's, it's really great to see that. And it's, it's great to see how people are taking to that. And, and, and if you notice, uh, a lot more people are, are working these days. And there's a lot of places, you know, that have got the signs out now hiring. Oh, yeah. And you looked at that and you go, wow, I mean, why is this all happening? Well, it, it can't be just a combination you know, of a political affiliation or, you know, or, or anything along that line. It has to be overall uh, view of, of how we as a society view our own understanding of ourselves. Mm-hmm. Because oh, yeah. when you look at it that way, then a lot of times people can go out and they can say, you know what? I can be successful at this. I can be really good at this or I can choose to be better at this one over here it's just a matter that when people really set their mind to it create that positivity then I think they are able to go out and achieve what they want oh yeah Absolutely. So now what we want to do is kind of go into the formal process. I mean, we've just been kind of speaking about various books over a 20-year period and basic concepts. And here's the funny thing about it, right? Uh, Stephen Covey was in Hawaii one time, and uh, I think like 10 motivational speakers came in to do a training. And at the end of the training, one of the executives said, aren't you guys basically saying the same thing? And to a person, they said, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, whether it's Dean Graciosi, Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, whoever, uh, water is water, gravity is gravity, principles of self-development are all the same no matter what book they are. But it's you just want to 
pick the favorite style that you listen to. For me, Ziegler, highly entertaining, great storyteller, really helped me understand these things, but a great book that's going to simplify this for you. And um, the thing I like about two books, basically, one is called Millionaire Success Habits by Dean Graciosi. The other one is called The Answer by John Asaraf. And to me, these are probably the two best books you want to start with, or if you've been okay, studying why? it. why? Because it puts everything into two books. You know, you'll, you'll hear things from other authors who kind of, they'll give you a piece of this and a piece of that and then all the different books. You've got to listen to all the books. These books kind of go from step one to step ten about, you know, how do you get from where you are to where you want to be. And it's just a great sequential outline of exactly the steps you go through, the process you go through. So whether you're talking about The Answer or Millionaire Success Habits, uh, The Answer by John Asraf, Millionaire Success Habits, Dean Graciosi, those are two books to start with because it just breaks it down very simply. It walks you through it step one through ten. And by the time you're through the book, you've got all the basic principles of self-development you're ever going to need. Would you liken it to like a mathematical, analytical uh, problem? And that is you have to go through step one, oh, two, yeah. three, four to get to step five, exactly. uh, which is the answer. Yeah. And a lot of times I think when you look at the, how the, the, the books are structured, then they, they are set up like that. So two plus two is four. Then all of a sudden four times four is 16. When you look at it that way, you're looking for that answer. And that mm-hmm. answer is what you develop by doing the steps. Right. So No, and this is just a great way to bring it all together because uh, the other authors and, you know, who knows why this happened, right? I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying that from the books I've heard, I mean, you have to hear one book to get this skill set, another book to get that skill set, and, and you know, it's kind of dumb luck on if you get the right order. But these two books just simplify it. They put it in one spot, and, and it just really, and both books talk about neuroplasticity, which some other books don't talk about as much as I think they should have. You know, they're just talking about believe this, do this, do this, but they don't explain to you why it works. And you have to understand that the brain can change itself. And that's why this stuff works. That's why affirmations work and daily rituals and habits and gratitude work, because the brain can literally change itself. Now, do you put your own life into that kind of perspective where you follow the steps and say, OK, here's what I'm what I'm trying to achieve? Well, now I do. Now that I've read these books. Yes. You know, but, but uh, like I say, over 20 years, you kind of figure it out over 20 years that, OK, here's here's some of the core things you do first. And then once you do the core things, then you kind of work your way up in the skill sets. You go from, you know, kindergarten garden to college uh, versus if you just walk into a bookstore and you get something by not dinging you Brian but you know Brian Tracy Tony Robbins whatever if you just pick one of these books you may be going at the college level book when you need to start off at the elementary and that's the beauty of millionaire success habits it starts chapter one at the elementary level so it's great and another one that does that too is um, the power of consistency Weldon Long now before you get back to Dean Graciosi let's just talk about Weldon Long sometime so here's the biggest thing is you've got to believe that your previous circumstances don't limit your future potential or as I like to say never ever allow your current circumstances to limit your unlimited potential and a great example of that is uh, Weldon Long three time felon in Canyon City had a horrible relationship with his dad didn't I don't think he finished high school and yet here's a man who today is a multimillionaire, owns a home in Hawaii and in Colorado has a great sales training organization and what does that prove what does that prove did he get lucky of course he didn't get lucky he simply followed a process he listened to two books I've listened to 400 his two books that changed this world were The Seven Habits of Highly Successful People by Stephen Covey and I think it was Power Talk by Tony Robbins maybe it was a different one but just those two books made him aware of what was possible out there so he pursued it. He I pursued mean, it, was it that, yes. uh, that simple. Uh, so what was it like his first step? To do a, well, his first step was just reading The Seven Habits. Well, I understand that, yeah. but I, when I, okay, well, take us past that. You know, Give us the example okay. of what, it, what it's all about and, and how he was able to go through all those steps in order to achieve that success. Sure. I think so, that, that, that gives a good analytical view of, of how the book is structured and, and how it can help each individual here. Exactly. So what, his motivator, and, and some people have their big pain point, but his pain point was his father died, and he realized he could never show his dad that he could be more than what he had been before and just in the prison library finds this book by Stephen Covey reads that finds one by Tony Robbins reads that becomes aware of being the ability to be proactive not reactive being aware that what happens in the future is not limited by what happened in the past and as a result of that he got this idea that he wanted to be a good father for his son which his dad was not to him that he wanted to have financial freedom and choices so he figures out okay now I'm aware that I'm not a felon that's not my identity it was my circumstance 
else. I am aware that I am a human being with a brain that has 100 billion neurons, individual nerve cells, that are able to make 40,000 connections to the other nerve cells, which equate to more atoms in the known universe. So that means I have unlimited thinking potential. And with this unlimited thinking potential, I can choose to think in new ways. I can choose to act in new ways. And so he got his uh, degree in law while he's in prison and also his MBA in business while he's in prison. And then he says, well, I want to get out and get into sales. Didn't know what sales he wanted to be into, but he knew one thing about the world of sales. There is no limit on the upper income and there's no limit on where you can work at. Everybody needs sales and everybody's willing to pay you commission when you make sales for the company. So he wanted to get into sales. So he got his MBA, he got his law degree. He gets out, he's living in a halfway house, and he's applying for sales job after sales job after sales job. Didn't have a car. You know, we talk about people with all their excuses. The guy didn't have a car. He's got a felony record, and he would go in and make his best pitch to somebody. And as soon as they found out he was a felon, boom, door closed. That was it. So six months. Could you imagine you nose every single day for six months, and yet still being able to get up and to get on the bus, no matter how cold it was out there, and apply one more time for the job, one more time for the job. And so he goes, and he applies, and one guy takes a chance on him, and he blows him out of the water in the first month because he understood the skill sets. He increased his value in the marketplace. The felony record didn't matter because that was something years ago. What mattered today was his MBA and his law degree and the fact that he knew how to sell. And so he works for this company about a year and he realizes, okay, I understand how this works now. I see how the basic fundamentals are. I'll start my own business. And here's another bold thing about it. So he finally starts start, start his own business. The man does not have any employees. The man does not have any trucks. The man does not have any HVAC equipment. But what he does have is a cell phone and he has an advertisement. He puts an advertisement on Sunday, our lower prices ever, because he just started business, so it was true. Call today to set your appointment. He sets 19 <laughs> appointments on Sunday, and that launched his business. The man had no resources, but he had a bold ability to take action. So don't don't limit yourself by saying, I don't have the money, I don't have the whatever like that. You need the creativity. Tony Robbins, before you go to the break, says it's not a lack of resources that holds you back in life. It's a lack of resourcefulness. And speaking of re- resource, it's a lousy segue, <laughs> but a pen is a resource, was pretty a good. piece of paper is a resource, and our sponsor is a resource to get you what you need. So again, write down their names, phone numbers, websites, and when you need them, you call them. We're going to be right back on Profiles of Success. Success Radio USA is always looking for ways to help you succeed. Whether it's offering a word of encouragement or sharing practical information that can give you the competitive edge. So you'll want to pay close attention to this. Our new sponsor, the 365 Grand Club, can give you the edge when conducting business in downtown Colorado Springs. You might want to entertain a potential client or just show appreciation to a loyal business partner. Either way, your new 365 Grand Club Card is your passport to downtown Colorado Springs. Your club card gives you access to discounts, business perks, making new business connections, and the convenient private concierge service that makes getting around town hassle-free. Enjoy the benefits of downtown with ease and prestige. Get your club card today by visiting www.365grandclub.com. That's 365grandclub.com. Club.com. Get yours this week and join the club, the 365 Grand Club. Hello, I'm Chuck Bader. And this is Jerry Evans. And you're invited to join us on Profiles of Success, where we feature stories of successful businesses and successful individuals. You can find us on TuneIn Radio, SoundCloud, or Stitcher by searching Success Radio USA. Or go to our website at successradio.us. Our current program is available every day, 2 p.m. Mountain Time, Monday through Friday. We air new programs on every Monday. These are programs which are designed to guide you along your path of success, to provide you with the information, the inspiration, and the motivation to achieve your goals. Right here on Profiles of Success on Success Radio USA. to Success Radio USA at successradio.us. 
Success Radio USA is committed to helping you achieve a positive daily approach to your success each and every day. Thank you for listening. of success. I'm your host, Chuck Bader. And I'm Jerry Evans, and we thank you once again for joining us here on Profiles of Success. Remember that you can find us by going to our Facebook page at Success Radio USA or by going to our website at successradio.us. And we'd like to invite you to register with us there for free, and you'll get a free ebook download as our gift to you. And now that you are one of those who take success seriously, you can subscribe to Success Radio USA for only a few dollars a month. And Chuck Bader has already said it. He's going to pay for your, what, your first three months? First three months, the first five people who sign the up. first five people who sign up. There you go. Yeah. And you can have total access to our show's archives on demand. Remember, it's only three ninety nine a month, so it's not like you're going to break the <laughs> bank or anything like that, okay? And you get all this really wonderful, valuable information. And our success library of eBooks will be there, which are also free to members as well. So get it done. Get in there. Get in. Have fun. Take action, man. you got to take yeah. some action to start, you know? Action Jackson, right? Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, like, like Lao Tzu, Chinese philosopher, for centuries ago said that the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. I, I agree with that. But if you sit on the couch watching TV, you ain't taking that step. So <laughs> you wonder why you're not making progress. Well, sometimes it's hard to get up off the couch, you know, but well, you need to is, do it. It's never you easy. Do yeah. it. No one said it's easy. That's right. Because you, maybe your back's hurting. Maybe your knees are hurting or whatever. Yeah. Get up off the couch and get out there and, and make these things happen. That's what it's all about. So I like the fact you talked about, well, let's give a real life example of how Weldon Long did it. What was his sequence, basically? Uh, so let's go back to the book, Millionaire Success Habits by Dean Graciosi, and I can't spell the name, although I tried a couple times, but <laughs> I, you, I don't know how in the world you say it, <laughs> let alone spell it. It took a long time to, to figure out how to say it, Dean Graciosi. Okay. But Millionaire Success Habits, that's an easy title. The man did a good job on the title, right? And he'll give the book away. He'll give the book away. You go to his website, DeanGraciosi.com, or type in Millionaire Success Habits, he'll give the book away. I got like four copies, because I kept signing up by mistake on the email thingies, right? <laughs> well, that's, so. that's also kind of his way of serving other people. It is. Yeah, big servant leader this guy is, right. But let's talk about the basics of the book here, and then we'll just take the last 15 minutes, although it's only chapter one, it's the beginning, but if you don't get past chapter one, the other chapters are irrelevant. And the thing that um, surprises me, and the thing that kind of educated me about the fact that I need to do a better job when I'm serving other people, is how hard it is to change your identity. So I've got a good friend who I have, who's known me for several years, and he's wanting to make a change in his life. And so, you know, I'm talking about all the stuff on YouTube and all these things, and how you reprogram your mind and how you do daily affirmations and months later I run into him again and he still has I mean he's made improvements right but he still has some of the negative things that are holding him back with this identity of what he was programmed as before you know he still got the old thing about well this happened in the past it's like (laughs) it doesn't matter it happened in the past it's data right now use the data productively and yet he's still letting these old stories and old circumstances slow him down from taking forward action well, and I think a lot of people have that problem oh, yeah. because they, they look at that, uh, uh, the, well, this is what happened, and I know it's right. going to happen again, so I, why even worry, uh, you know, try to change it. Exactly. And you can't go in with that attitude. you right. got to get in there, and you got to you know, literally pull yourself up by your bootstraps and say, all right, I'm going to do it, because a lot of times in all that negative stuff that happened in the past is in the past. That's where it should be. Right. And you want to use it and go forward and use that positive feeling about things and, and I think maybe that's what you're talking about with this first chapter is that correct it is it is correct it's what uh, Dean calls the inner villain uh, your past stories your past okay, you know, explain that so the inner villain is the person that when you, uh, when you go to a seminar and they say you can do this and man you write down this goal and you're all excited about it because they've changed your physiology especially Tony Robbins right master changing physiology which is a great thing people just don't keep it up but in a Tony Robbins seminar you got the workbooks you're writing this stuff down yeah 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 I'm gonna make this stuff happen right and you go home after the seminar and you're all pumped up and even though with the weekend you're pumped up and then Monday morning you walk back into the routine of the boss and the job and the family and the whatever you got going on and all of a sudden when you pull out that workbook Monday night and say yeah here's what I'm going to do what Dean calls the inner villain is your identity up to this point and you're, that's where you start talking yourself out of it well why do you think you can do this you didn't go to college you don't have the connections you don't have the friends that's what Dean calls the inner villain which is a good thing and people don't realize it you know people are always um, running people down who have a hard time getting off drugs or cigarettes or alcohol 
or in this case, their previous identity. I mean, the brain is wired to keep you safe and to protect you. Uh, as far as the identity part of it goes, it's also vulnerable to certain artificial stimulations like drugs, alcohol, and cigarettes. But realize that the brain is incredibly powerful. So if you can learn how to reprogram that brain, and if you can learn how to rewire the circuitry in the brain through the affirmations, gratitude, and visualizations, then you take all that power and you start working for yourself. Uh, I was at a car show over the weekend. This guy had a dragster, right? Imagine if all of a sudden, and I'm just doing a stereotype, but imagine you had a, a 98-year-old woman who had never driven a car in her life, and she's got a dragster, and she's driving at like two miles an hour. I mean, <laughs> what a shame, right? That's almost like the being a negative attitude inside your brain, is you've got this dragster, which is capable of tremendous speeds and power, but if you're not having the right attitude to drive it correctly, it does you no good. You know, and you're it's going just, in slow motion. You're going in slow motion. It's irrelevant. It's like you have this amazing tool, and you're not using it. So you need to understand that you can use it. And again, look this up and really, really get the hang of this because it's the one thing that turned the corner for me after 20 years of listening to that. It's the one thing that made sense to me is neuroplasticity. N-E-U-R-O-P-L-A-S-T-I-C-I-T-Y. Yay, my spelling bee for wow, today. But amazing. when you get neuroplasticity, when you understand, it's like, oh my gosh. So the brain can actually change into to having new habits and to learn new skill sets to bring value in the marketplace, just like Weldon Long. You know, his brain changed dramatically. He went from having no high school diploma to an MBA and a law degree. <laughs> you can learn these things. They're learnable skills. That's one thing Brian Tracy talks about is that anything you want to achieve in life, you have to get the skills for, and all skills are learnable. They don't plug them in like some USB drive into your brain. You learn these things. Doctors learn it. Lawyers learn it. Everybody learns these things. You can learn the same way everybody else does if you put the right effort into it. Well, that just about sums everything up. I mean, you're absolutely right about that because uh, the human brain allows people to uh, take it upon themselves to learn whatever they're trying to learn. And, uh, you know, when you think about it, uh, I mean, a doctor doesn't become a doctor right. overnight. They have to learn how to be one. You have to learn how to be a welder. You have to learn how to be a farmer. And all this comes out when you just approach it with that attitude that, you know what, I'm, I'm going to be able to do this. I really can do this. And you got to be positive about it. And that's what we're, I think we're trying to stress here more than anything. And, and one of the things even when we talk about, you know, subscribing to Success Radio USA uh, for that three ninety nine a month, you can have the, the total access to our show's archives. We talk about all this. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, we talk about how people need to use that drive that's inside them and go out and do what they need to do. And I think when you're talking about all these books that you've read and, and, and whatnot, they give illustrations oh, yeah. of how people can achieve that and how these people who wrote these books uh, came from nothing. Yeah. I mean, when you think about it, I, I, I often uh, think about that one time when we were talking about or hearing uh, Zig Ziglar um, and his car. That oh, yeah. He had yeah. the very <laughs> first one and didn't have a heater. Yeah. And you remember the old stupid line I said he had a beater with no heater. Right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was, I mean, you think about that. That's where he started. Exactly, yes. And then he went on to, you know, monumental success yeah. just because he didn't let all that negativity dwell inside of him. He said, I'm going to push forward. I'm going to help people. I'm going to, you know, be this and, and so on and so forth. And I think that's really an incredible story. When you think about his, you think about Tony Robbins' story and many, many others as well. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you follow their path... Right. Right. You can achieve your own path as well. And that's one thing that, that we need to warn people about, too. It's, it's uh, I'm kicking around this book idea, right? Why success seminars and success books don't work? It's not that they don't work. It's just like a good diet program. Any diet program is going to work to a certain degree. Yeah. Any seminar, any almost any seminar you go to is going to work for you. Almost any success book is going to work for you. But the problem is you don't work with it. The problem is we have unrealistic expectations. And now part of this I am going to fault the industry on because so many times they will promote a seminar or a book by saying, this will change your life. And I think it's probably, come to think of it, I just had my light bulb moment. This is why the industry is having such a high failure rate. This is why so many people go to seminars and not make the progress because some people are, are promising that this book will change your life. This seminar will change your life. No, it doesn't. Change is slow, baby. Just like working out in the gym is slow. And we talked about this before, not in a negative way, but in the fact that, you know, changing the brain and rewiring the brain is slower, I think, than building muscle within the body. Because when you look right. at the, 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 
of YouTube videos on what it takes to change a neural connection, it ain't easy. I mean, it's a lot of work to change the way you think because physically, it's a physical thing. They can see that now, right? How you're changing the connections between neuron A and neuron B and, and eliminating one and then neuron A reaches out to neuron C and now you've got a new direction you're going in. But it is as slow and as difficult to change the way you think and to rewire your brain as it is going to the gym. You know, it takes it's months in order to really see some muscle development progress. Same thing on the brain. But the thing is, is people get discouraged. They think it's going to be easier than it is, which is not. And I'll warn you about that. And they think it's going to be quicker than it is. And I'll tell you, it takes a long time. It's going to take years to change for most people. You know, you have the few exceptions out there who get it and can do it in a few months. But for 95% of the people, you count on this process taking one to three years before you can really change your entire personality to be the person that is able to learn the skill sets and provide value in the marketplace and then to accept the success because now you realize this is what you're capable of in the in the marketplace. Well, you're right. And it's interesting because I can use a personal example. I remember when I was in my 20s, I decided that I wanted to uh, get a little more developed as far as physically and is right. concerned. So I went on a serious weightlifting program, worked with a buddy of mine, and uh, over the course of literally a couple of months, I increased my weight by 20 pounds, literally go. in two months. Okay. So I looked at it and I said, wow, you know, I was re- this was great because uh, I, I was focused. I wanted to do it. Yes. It's something I wanted to achieve, and I did it. And then later on, of course, I put another 10 pounds after that. You know, it took a little while longer. But when it came to the uh, looking at it from the brain capacity... Oftentimes, I always struggled with that because of the fact that I didn't have the same approach, didn't have the same vigor, didn't have the same drive because I wanted to just say, well, you know, I, I, I think I can do this. You know, hmm. it's maybe something, but I'm not sure. Hmm. But with the weightlifting, I did that and I said, you know what, I'm going to do this. And as I saw the progress happening and achieving those goals, yeah. I realized, you know, I really am good at this yes. I can I can achieve the success that I want and when you look at it from look uh, from a, from a mind standpoint a lot of times people don't have that same framework right and and here's another example too that everybody deals with right think about your first day on the job and let's say you've been in the same company 10 years and you're doing the same job for 10 years think about how difficult it was for you on day one and Dean talks about that in his book millionaire success oh, I Habits. remember yeah yeah wow. and, and what an effort it was because what you're doing is you're going through the programming process when you first learn something new it's incredible slow because you're having to to get these neural connections built up. But as you do it again and again and again and again, it becomes subconscious. So that's an analogy for what we're looking for here. Yes, when you watch the YouTube videos, when you do the affirmations, when you start to deal with gratitude, it's going to be hard at first. But the more you do it, the easier it becomes. You're absolutely. I totally agree. And I think that's just it kind of sums up the entire uh, program of of what we've been talking about here. So we certainly uh, want to thank everybody for uh, joining us once again. And want want to encourage everybody, make sure that you get uh, some of uh, this material and go to YouTube Ooh. watch these videos and they're, they're available right there and oh use gosh. all the local resources as well I mean everything when you tie it all in together it's just one more stepping stone for you, you as a personal growth to, to, to achieve whatever you want to achieve exactly any barrier out there is gone now with with the internet all the barriers are gone even the great barrier reef <laughs> yeah, well, I was working on that but with the internet I mean the YouTube videos there's no reason you can't get the information that you need to, to learn how to reprogram your brain to start that change process so what we want to do is encourage people. It's like, yep, now you're aware. So let's go ahead and encapsulate this. Uh, the best book, one of the best books you want to start with is Millionaire Success Habits by Dean Graciosi. Get that. Go through that. It's going to take you about 10 readings to really pick everything up. Hey, that's the way it works, right? The brain can't handle all that stuff at once. But uh, start with that book and then realize that you do have the ability to be proactive no matter what your situation is. And it is difficult sometimes. But by being proactive, you can take control of your life. You assume what is called the locus of control, which is a very empowering feature feeling when you get to that. So we would just like Jerry talked about right now, tomorrow morning when you wake up, open up YouTube, find a motivational video. You type motivational video in the search bar. It's going to pull up a thousand and one of them for you and listen to them every day. Be grateful tomorrow morning. Realize you have a choice. Realize you can change your thinking, change control of your life, provide value in the marketplace and be paid for it. Uh, be paid for it. But the way that you do that is that every single day, no matter what you feel like, you do something and you do anything to keep, keep moving, moving forward. forward. 
so. You've been listening to Profiles of Success on Success Radio USA with Chuck Bader and Jerry Evans, brought to you in part by the 365 Grand Club, Colorado Springs' only elite urban downtown club. So start enjoying the benefits of downtown with ease and prestige. Get your club card today at 365grandclub.com. That's 365grandclub.com. God bless you all and see you next week on Profiles of Success. Success Radio USA at successradio.us. Success Radio USA is your source for inspirational, motivational, informative, and life-changing daily content. Thank you for listening.